hello you guys welcome back to my channel it is almost the end of august which is absolutely crazy and my best friend is getting married like in 52 days or something like that and she asked me to be her maid of honor so i'm throwing her a bachelorette party and a bridal shower so i wanted to show you guys a haul of some of the things that i've gotten some so far obviously i'm trying not to break the bank and i thought it would be fun to do some diys so i'm trying to do that while also obviously get the biggest bang for my buck so i wanted to show you guys i've been hitting up the dollar store and the dollar general to try and get some things um so i thought it would just be really fun to take you guys along on this journey um i'm finding it like super intimidating <laughs> throwing these events and that sort of thing. I've never done this sort of thing before and she's really my only like friend who I probably will be in this situation for. So um, I am learning as I go. Also, please excuse my bandaged finger. I cut it super bad in the sink with our new knives last night or two nights ago now. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the little haul. Um, I wanted to start with the things I had got on Amazon. Um, so the invitations I got are these. They're pretty affordable. And the biggest thing was because she was going to get married next June and then um, changed it to getting married in October. And so the like timeline obviously was shortened a lot. So her bridal shower is on September 18th. And so because it was going to be time before I got the addresses from her I didn't want to um like print invitations and so these were really nice that I could just fill in the information which my hand was totally cramping I had to write 20 of them but overall it worked totally fine and then I also got these little um recipe cards and there's lines on the back as well um and so i sent these out with the invitations because i've gone to like one or two bridal showers where they had like they told you to bring a recipe and then you wrote it in the card there but i thought it would be nice like i would prefer to write it at home versus at the bridal shower so i thought that would be kind of fun but i have like a ton extra for um for like if people have an extra recipe they want or if they forgot it or something and it's no big deal if people who are SVP know have the recipe cards. So um, those are what I got. Obviously the theme is definitely the eucalyptic sleeves. I think that she'll really like that as a theme. And then um, her like wedding color is sort of like a Cabernet red, like dark red. Um, and so I'm going to try and incorporate that in in the bridal shower and then the bachelorette party is going to be light pink but I figure I can you know use both and then I'm gonna get some eucalyptus garland for the bridal shower to decorate because it's at my house um and so I was like oh that would be really cute with like red berries in it for Christmas too so I'm trying to like figure out ways that I can use the decor in different ways so anyway those are the things I got from Amazon I'll show you guys I'm probably gonna do another Amazon later this week I, although it's Thursday so like how much later but this weekend or something where I order some other things I'll definitely show you guys when those come in um okay so I didn't have very much luck at the dollar store um I'm wanting to do gold as like the accents we have this joke between the two of us where in high school I wanted everything to be pink and sparkly and so I was like I definitely want to incorporate gold as like sparkle um which is also why there's pink at the bachelorette party because I always wanted pink sparkle and she makes fun of me for that so I didn't have any luck at the dollar store but I did have luck at dollar general and this stuff was one dollar so the shower is going to be at I think 2 p.m. or 2.30, I can't remember which one, and we're doing desserts. So her future mother-in-law, I put in charge of like the actual desserts, um, but I bought these really cute gold plates. And so um, I'm not gonna know how many people are RSVPing ahead of time, but I figure I can always use these for the bachelorette party. Or obviously gold is like a pretty neutral color to just have in my like little party cabinet. So these are eight plates each um and I got four packages of them um I also am going to do a mimosa bar because like I mean it's bridal which I think means you have to have champagne <laughs> at least in my mind and then I'm also going to do um coffee and tea since it's 
dessert theme. So I got these little cup packs and so there's 10 cups and I got three sets of them. Once again, I'm inviting 18 people and there's a good chance that most of them are going to show up. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so that's what I got for utensils. I'm not sure I need to talk to her future mother-in-law to see if I need like forks or spoons or anything, but um, we'll cross that bridge later. I got these two um, plastic tablecloths for the house. Um, I feel like tablecloths are a really good thing to like add the color of your theme that you want. Um, and these were $1 each, so like you can't really beat that. And then I got these light pink ones to do for the bachelorette party. The bachelorette party is going to be a little funny because her and I are driving there together. So I'm like, you're going to have to help me set up. But at least all the decorations are going to be a surprise. And everything at the bridal shower and the bachelorette party, except where we're going for the bachelorette party, is a surprise to her. So, um... For her gift at the bridal shower for me, I'm gonna do like the recipe box. I found this really cute bamboo one. And so I got this bag that like matches the theme um, to put on the guest table. So um, that was also, I think this was only a dollar. I don't really remember. Um, but then since we're talking about her gift, she is pretty outdoorsy. And so I found at this local shop, these um, hot socks. And so they have these two cute little like outdoor camping ones. And then they also have these little like bachelorette ones. Um, and they're light blue, which is her color preference. So I thought that those would be cute to go with it just as a little something. Um, Cause I know if I get her anything big, she's gonna be like, you just threw a party. Like don't do that. So um, that is that. Now moving on to some of the dollar store items that I got. So I got these flowers that I think I'm going to try and put in the eucalyptus or I may try and cut them apart and then I was going to buy some eucalyptus sprigs to put in some vases or something. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I also got these white ones, but I didn't realize I bought two different color white ones and I don't really love them. So um, I may return them or keep them. I don't know. They were a dollar each. It's not a huge deal. <laughs> um, I also got these 4x6 frames. I got six of them and I'm going to print out pictures of her and her fiance and I think I'm going to spray paint them gold. I haven't decided yet um, but I thought that that would be a cute way to do decorations also and then I can keep the frames and use them for other photos or I can give them to her if she wants them for their new house. So. So far, the only DIY project that I can think of, I used to be creative, I promise, but I, the, the creativity is escaping me in this moment. So I got these little vases that I feel like you usually find fake flowers in at church, um, but I'm going to add some baking soda to this white paint because I don't know if you guys have seen where you like paint that over these and then they look like ceramic vases. Um, so I thought that that could be kind of cute with like eucalyptus sprigs in them. And if not, I kind of need white paint anyway, so that's fine. Um, so I also picked up this little paintbrush set from the dollar store and these sponge brushes. Um, I like have no art supplies either, so I figured like those would be good <laughs> items to have. Um, I also got this, these two little like balls of crafters twine sort of. I think Christmas packages are really cute with this wrap. Plus I can wrap them around the vases to add a little extra something. <laughs> um, and it's just good to have around the house. So I did get those. Um, so I have this idea. There's me and four other girls who are bridesmaids and then there is the bride. So I got these um, little paper bags and then for all of us I'm gonna make um, a little like care package for the bachelor party. So I got these hair ties. There's only five because I'm the sixth person um, and thought that those would be cute to put in them. Um, I also got six of these little like bubble clay masks that I thought could be fun to do at the bachelorette party or after. I got a little hand sanitizer for each of us. Um, and then I got these little gums and then packs of Tylenol. And then I'm also gonna do 
an emergency packet, um, a chapstick, and a one of those Starbucks double shots. I thought that, that would be kind of cute to do in each of them. Um, so that'll be for the bachelorette party. And then um, I picked up one of these tissue packs at the dollar store i feel like white tissue is always good to have especially when it is coming to like wrapping presents and stuff obviously for this and then the last thing that i got that is totally unrelated but allison's cleaning um always talks about her infamous dollar tree brush and so i picked one of those up because i found it in the automotive section but i hope that that was helpful if you guys are planning a bridal shower or a bachelorette party i'll definitely continue to take you guys along um, I'll show you I got my dress for the wedding and also my shoes so I can show you guys um, those at a later date also in case you need any ideas they were very affordable so super excited about that I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video